Soul Pro Creator 2.0, new software from Scan Dimension. Exclusively for use with the Soul Pro 3D Scanner. Let's take a look at the Soul Pro scanning from start to finish using Soul Pro Creator 2.0. Here's how to make a 3D scanning from start to finish with SolPro 3D Scanner. The object I'll be scanning is an ear impression made of a soft silicone based material. The ear impression is 30mm long, 23mm wide and 38mm high. The size of it fits with my SolPro scanner set in near position. The SolPro Creator software lets you choose your settings here shows the status and current options here, and gives you instructions on what to do next, right here. In this case, I would like my result in full resolution, but I don't need any added accuracy, so I choose the normal scanning mode. You can save time by reusing the calibration as long as the scanner has not been turned off. It is possible to toggle the options for texture and unsteady object at any time before meshing. However, your dark surface choice is locked once your first scanning pass has begun. I want to include the texture in my final model, and the ear impression is rather light in color and will sit steadily on the turntable, so I don't need to check any of the object options. Sol Pro begins the scanning process with an automatic calibration with the turntable empty. The calibration ensures alignment between the scanner head and the turntable. When the calibration is complete, the software presents you with two cylinders on the turntable. These indicate the minimum and maximum object size that you can scan with the scanner in its current position. Place your object in a stable position on the turntable. If possible, your first scanning pass should be with the object in the most upright orientation. This will make it easier for the software to automatically align multiple point clouds. Click Continue Scanning to start your first scanning pass. Each scanning pass consists of the laser sweeping 10 times over the turntable. After a few sweeps, the software switches from live video to showing the continuous building of the point cloud as more and more information is processed. For a scanning to result in a full 360 degrees 3D model, the entire object's surface needs to be exposed to the camera and laser at least once. However, you should keep the scanning passes to a minimum, as this will both save time and optimize the accuracy. So even though Sol Pro Creator can automatically align up to five scanning passes, two or three are usually enough. Following each finalized scanning pass, you will see thumbnails of the point clouds and how well they automatically align to the first one. In this case, they are all aligned. The third scanning pass is shown smaller, and this little artifact is the reason. But as long as the alignment is correct, I can safely start meshing. Any unwanted artifacts are removed automatically in the meshing process. After meshing, you can inspect your 3D model and decide if you need to add more scanning passes, delete and maybe replace an entire point cloud, or to manually align. I can see that my three scanning passes and the automatic alignment got it all covered, so I click Save. The 3D model now automatically opens in Sol Pro Viewer, where you can inspect it in different renderings, such as shaded or faceted texture, X-ray and wireframe. You can also upload it for sharing or export your model in various file formats for further editing in third-party software or for 3D printing. And that's how you scan with Sol Pro 3D Scanner. Let us know if you have any questions about 3D scanning with Sol Pro. Soul Pro Creator 2.0 now includes better user control, as requested by our Soul Pro scanner users. But we've made sure it's still the most automated 3D scanning software available. The scanning DNA of Scan Dimension has always been the conveniently automated processes of calibrate, scan, mesh, and save. Part of our mission at Scan Dimension is to improve the user workflows and let the scanners and the software do the hard work. This is why we focus on our users and user feedback in our product development. Our latest update is no exception. 
Here's a brief overview of some of the user requested features we'll be taking a look at. See and check the automatic alignment before meshing. Delete or edit point clouds. Easier manual alignment, especially for symmetrical objects. The option to change the data storage folder for your 3D model collection. And MATLAB is no longer part of the installation process. During each scanning pass, you'll see your object in a live video during the first few sweeps. This will then be transformed to a live point cloud model for the additional sweeps, which you can rotate, zoom, and move your cloud even during scanning. After each scanning pass, you'll get a comparable thumbnail you can use to check the automated alignment. A misaligned point cloud is a clear indicator that you need to either delete an entire point cloud or use the new manual alignment feature. Now there are two new options in the scanning workflow, point cloud edit and manual alignment. The Point Cloud Edit allows you to save time by checking on your Point Cloud alignment. With this new feature, the user can delete part of or entire Point Clouds. And make sure you don't spend time cleaning up loose points. Soul Pro Creator can remove those automatically for you. In this scanning example of a mobile phone holder, you can see scanning passes 1, 2, and 4 are aligned, but pass 3 isn't. For an unwanted pass, you can simply use the trash bin button to delete pass number three. Let's look at an example of removing part of a point cloud. What we have here is a bottle opener, but we only need the handle. We perform two scanning passes and attach some modeling clay to reduce symmetry in the sample. Simply select points surrounding the area you want to remove then delete the unwanted parts, and repeat as necessary. Here we have our finished example of our bottle opener handle, and Soul Pro Creator 2.0 has even made this model watertight. Let's take a look at the Point Cloud Edit feature using Soul Pro Creator 2.0. In this video, I'll explain when and how to use the Point Cloud Edit feature in Sol Pro Creator. It's quite simple. With Point Cloud Edit, you can delete entire point clouds or parts of your point clouds. Note that although the Point Cloud Edit feature can be used as a cleaning tool to delete artifacts, that is not the intention. Sol Pro Creator has several functions in both the scanning and the meshing processes, which automatically removes unwanted free-floating points. In this case, I've scanned a phone stand in four scanning passes, but from the thumbnails here, I can see that something went wrong with the fourth point cloud. I know that the other three scanning passes combined will have scanned the entire object's surface, so I can safely delete the misaligned fourth point cloud without the risk of losing essential information for my final 3D model. In Point Cloud Edit, I can select the fourth point cloud and zoom in for a closer inspection. It is clear to see how the round object slightly shifted position during the scanning, so I'll just click the Delete button and then Confirm and Close. The remaining thumbnails are now ready for meshing. Another thing that you can do with the point cloud edit function is to remove unwanted parts of your point clouds. I have a 3D printing project that requires a small handle, like the one on the spit holder tool. Normally I would spray a partly shiny object like this with 3D scanning spray to avoid laser reflections from the metal corrupting my scan. But since I intend to delete the metal part anyway, and because Sol Pro's dark surface mode will manage the black handle, there is no need for spray. Using modeling clay on the part that I will cut, I can securely place the tool in its most upright position. This way, Sol Pro scans all of the black handle in a single scanning pass. As expected, the reflections from the laser hitting the shiny metal part are all over the place during the scanning. But right at the end, in the finalizing stage, Sol Pro Creator does a great job tidying up and floating artifacts will be removed automatically during the meshing. 
To delete the unwanted metal part, I go to Point Cloud Edit and select my scan. At the bottom of the screen you will find instructions on how to zoom in, rotate and move the point cloud inside the working area. Hold down Ctrl to get the lasso tool and select any unwanted points. If you regret your selection, simply click the Escape key to deselect. When your selection is correct, press the Delete key to delete the points. If you regret a deletion, you can click the Revert button on an edited point cloud as long as you have not yet clicked Confirm and Close. In cases with more than one scanning pass, you must delete the unwanted points on all of the point clouds. Click on Confirm and Close when you're done. The thumbnail is now updated and you can start meshing and eventually save your new 3D model. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions about SolPro 3D Scanner. First things first, if your object to scan is asymmetrical, then Soul Pro Creator will probably do an excellent job automatically aligning your point clouds, and it would be unnecessary to use manual alignment. In Soul Pro Creator 2.0, the new manual alignment feature has replaced the old optimize alignment function. It's now faster in that you can check if manual alignment is needed right after a scanning pass and easier in your ability to align two point clouds at a time by selecting sets of matching points on each pass. When to do manual alignment. Here you can see these two point clouds on the left are clearly aligned, so no need to do manual alignment. On these other two examples to the right, if we did two scanning passes and couldn't get the software to align automatically due to symmetry, then I would have to go to the manual alignment. So what do you do? First, click on three points you can easily match on the other point cloud. These points should also be spread far apart from each other on the point cloud. Then press Align Matching Points. The results will show up on the bottom of the screen and can be rotated, zoomed, and checked before finalizing. You can also colorize your point clouds to see how well your point selections align, as well as adjust your background to optimize your contrast. And here are the results of our manual alignment. Let's take a look at using the manual alignment feature in Soul Pro Creator 2.0. Automatically aligning highly symmetrical objects with few or no distinct features is a well-known challenge within 3D scanning. However, SolPro offers a manual alignment solution in case the automatic alignment was unsuccessful. As an example, I will scan a piece of foam cut into a square, a typical symmetrical shape. I've marked the foam with an X and a circle, as this will make it easier to check any alignment. After two scanning passes with the foam first standing up and then lying down, the thumbnails here let me check how well the second point cloud automatically aligned with the first one. And typically for a symmetrical object like this, it is obvious that the second point cloud did not align automatically with the first one. So I will use the manual alignment to solve this. The Sol Pro Creator software automatically shows the first point cloud to the left. Select the point cloud that did not automatically align. Hold down the control key and click to choose pairs of minimum 3 and maximum 8 matching points on each point cloud. The same control removes the selected point if you wish to redo it. To optimize the final accuracy, the following applies. The position of the selected points on both point clouds need to match as much as possible. The selected points must be as far apart as possible. The selected points should never all form a straight line. As an additional visual aid, you can colorize your point clouds if it makes it easier for you to select your matching points.
Furthermore, if your object is particularly dark or light, you can switch the background color to optimize the contrast. You can change both of these options at any time. When you are done with the point selection, click Align Matching Points. Now you can check your result, and if you enable the coloring, it becomes even easier to check your new alignment. If you think you can make a better alignment, just redo the process. If you think your manual alignment is good, click on the Finalize button. Now the thumbnails show the point clouds are aligned, and you can go ahead meshing and saving as usual. If you have any questions about 3D scanning with Sol Pro, you're always welcome to contact us. You now have the option to change the data storage folder for your 3D model collection instead of only using the default folder. And MATLAB is no longer part of the installation process in the software install wizard. Of course, the new Soul Pro Creator software is backward compatible with the existing Soul Pro 3D scanners. And if your software is registered, the update will download automatically. You can also download the new Soul Pro Creator 2.0 software update from the Scan Dimension website at the link below. And if you're interested in purchasing a Soul Pro 3D scanner, please see the ScanDimension.com website and fill out the form to have a local representative get in touch with you directly. The Soul Pro Creator 2.0 software, with powerful new features like point cloud edit and manual alignment, is sure to improve the 3D scanning workflow for Soul Pro Scanner users with speed and ease.